Hello, I'm Taylor Mitchell. I'm currently a freshman at Dove Science Academy, Tulsa. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to make an isocahedron. It's a three-dimensional figure with 20 equilateral, equilateral triangle faces, 30 edges, and 12 vertices. You're going to need materials in order to do this project. Cotton swabs, glue sticks, and a hot glue gun. Let me compare. This one looks cleaner than this one because, well, the hot glue gun is, is kind of messy sometimes, but easy to do. Okay, so I spent at least 15 to 20 minutes on these. It has 30 cotton swaps again. And, and I hope you would be interested in making one of these. For my ELA component, I chose to do a journal. You can find my journal entries on my website. For my SS component, I found a connection, Isaac Hedron, and history and answered the following question. Who discovered the Isaac Hedron? It has been suggested that the regular Isaac Hedron not being found in nature is the first example of a geometrical object that is free creation of human thought. Regardless of the truth of this, it is interesting to try to track down the origin of the Isaac Hedron. A scolium in Book 13 of Euclid's Elements speaks of the five so-called Platonic figures, which, however, do not belong to Plato. Three of the five being due to the um, Pythagoreans, name, name, namely the cube, the, pyri the pyramid, and the dodecahedron, while the octahedron and the isocahedron are due to Theotetus, more recently Atia and Sutcliffe have claimed that a regular isocahedron appears among a collection of stone balls in the Asmo Ashmolean Museum. Balls that were unearthed in Scotland and may date back to 2000 BC. However, Livion Le Bruyne Bruin have argued that these authors are the victims of a hoax. Thank you for watching my video.